and unusual at the world's largest active geyser in Yellowstone. The world's largest active geyser has erupted three times in the past six weeks in Yellowstone National Park, including once this week, in an unusual pattern but in no way indicative of the more destructive volcanic eruptions occurring beneath Wyoming, geologists told Saturday. Steamboat geyser, which can shoot water 300 feet, 91 meters, into the air, erupted on March 15, April 19, and on Friday. The last time the volcano erupted three times in a year was in 2003, the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory said. The last time it erupted before March was more than three years ago in September 2014. There is no indication that a volcanic eruption is imminent, Michael Poland, the scientist in charge at the observatory, said by email. This year's eruption was smaller compared to a typical steamboat eruption, but the two eruptions on April were about 10 times larger than the eruption at the park's famous Old Faithful Geyser in terms of the amount of water released. Geologists don't yet know exactly why the latest series of eruptions occurred, but they say it may indicate a thermal disturbance in the geyser basin, or that steamboat may have had smaller eruptions rather than large ones. Because most geysers don't erupt spontaneously. Regularly, this may reflect randomly occurring geysers, Poland said. Only New Zealand's Waimangu geyser reaches a higher elevation than steamboat, but not for more than 100 years, the U.S. National Park Service said. Yellowstone is located at the top of a volcano that created a vast crater. The plateau hosts the most diverse and extensive continental hydrothermal system in the world, including the colorful springs, mud pools, and geysers for which the park is famous. While the steamboat eruption is unusual, what is far more worrying is the drying up of the water in the hydrothermal system, which could indicate that super-hot magma far below is making its way to the surface.